Dear fellow coders, welcome to One Little Coder. You all know that Streamlit could be Streamlit app could be easily published using Streamlit Share. So Streamlit Share is this free service from Streamlit for now at least, where you can share a Streamlit application or deploy a Streamlit application in one click. So it's a one click deployment of Streamlit. But let's say that you have deployed deployed a Streamlit application and then you want to make some change. Typically, the workflow is you have got the folder on your local machine. You change something to it, then you publish it on GitHub, and then you, it gets refreshed. So this is your typical workflow. Let us say in this case, I've got an application. This is an application. I will link this video in the YouTube description. You can check it out. Where you upload an image, and it's going to give you a pencil sketch. It's not much about an application, but what I want to show you is how you can do this entire thing, like updating a Streamlit application that's connected to a Streamlit share, without even having a desktop or anything you can entirely do this even on a mobile device okay let me show that and for that thanks to github because github recently announced something called github.dev so you can open github.dev so it's basically if you have a repository github is going to create a, a vs code environment like a code space environment for you where you can actually make the change and then do everything like whatever you want to do it on your local machine you can do everything within a browser now and we are going to leverage github.dev to update an existing Streamlit application and then also because Streamlit application whenever you are updated on GitHub, it's going to connect it to a Streamlit share service. So you are going to basically update a Streamlit share application simply on the browser without, without downloading the code, without doing any Git simple. I'm going to show you that. So if you are if you are somebody new to this channel, this is where I make programming tutorials, coding tutorials, especially focused on data science and machine learning. Let's get started. Now I've got a repository. My repository is like this, a very simple repository. I've got a requirements.txt file. I've got a Python uh, script for Streamlit application. I've got a readme and then I've got a license file. And then the output of this application is like this. It's hosted on Streamlit share and you upload an image. This is what the first thing that I want to show you is, can I make a change? Okay, so first, first I want to show you, can I make a change in this repository? First, after you go to this repository, all you have to do is click dot on your keyboard go to your repository it will work only for your repository go to your repository click dot the moment you click dot you're going to see this okay so let me just keep this in the side which is github.com so you can see that the url has already changed so it has changed to github.dev so now at this point uh, github is actually creating an environment for me and then you can see that now the the code is ready if you go to files explorer you can see the same four files license readme app requirements and license read me, read me app requirements so i can make any change that i want so first for for simplicity first what what we can do is we can uh, we can just change the readme file let me click this go here and then see okay so this is what i've got what if i want to add an image to it let me go to google so i'm going to say uh, images.google.com and then i'll add a streamlit logo let me do that okay streamlit logo and then I'm going to find a logo. I've got a logo and uh, it's quite a big logo. So yeah, I think that should be fine. Let me see if I have anything else. Yeah, this looks better. So I'm going to copy the image address, paste it here to check if the image, okay, it works fine. So I'm going to come back here to my github.dev, which is my development environment. And we say, add this image. Okay, I can preview this if I want, um, but yeah, it's, it's up to me. So after I do this thing, I have to save this. Once I save this, you can see that uh, I, I, I get this icon, which is M. What does it say? It basically says that I've modified this file. If you have used VS code, you know, at the same time, it also says that, you know, like I've, uh, I've, there is one pending change, my source control. Now I've got two options. One, I can commit directly to my main branch, or if you want, I can make a pull request. So let me make a pull request. In this case so i can go here click and then say make a pull request create a pull request and then it will compare the changes it's going to say there is there is no no um, change um, between these two files primarily because you know like we have not committed so what i can do is i can i can maybe start committing uh, i can commit but i need to mention commit message so what is a commit message i can say um, added streamlet logo oops sorry logo and then control enter or command enter based on which 
compute you have got and then you can see it is committed and if i go here now and then i refresh it you should add it streamlit logo and you can you can actually see the streamlit logo i think i've done a bad job in adding the streamlit logo because it's a png let me just look for a jpeg and then is it a jpeg i want a jpeg okay is it a jpeg yeah this is a jpeg copy image address paste it and just check okay this looks good and then go back here and uh, do the same thing now instead of that image save it save it and then you can see that and what is the commit message commit message is oops sorry my commit message is going to be uh, change the image oops sorry and uh, yeah save it sorry save it and you get that that new update here so at this point you can see that uh, whatever i've done it has happened here but still i have not done anything on the app front so now next i'm going to show you what i can do so by this time i think you would have probably got the got what am i going to do so let's say like i want to add the same logo here somewhere here okay so i want to add the same logo here so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go here go to the files open my app and um, when i've got um, the app and you can see my the main page like the home and you, if you see the landing page i've got a, a file file uploader and then i've got something so it basically says you have not uploaded image courtesy all these things so what i'm going to do is i'm going to probably say uh, st dot markdown and then i'm going to say the same thing like whatever whatever i just did i'm going to do this thing the image okay and then i'm going to save this once i save this and um, right now the way i can validate is i can uh, i can commit it again like i said like i can just commit it what am i going to say added image or logo is streamlit logo to the app page okay sorry say commit it and then now we are done and um, go back and see if that commit message you get to see that added streamlit logo to the app page so you can see in this file that change is done so now let's open streamlit app this is our old oh it's it's already done you can see that the the image has already come so now you might probably realize that okay so probably my image um, size is not great so you go to google and say okay um, how to change markdown image size why did i go to google i could have searched it on um, duck duck go but it's okay i'm going to open this and i'm going to say if i have any way i can just simply say like this okay that's that looks good i'm going to come back and i'm going to say this okay um maybe 200 into 200 that looks okay save it comment changed image size i think i make spelling mistake for change every time go back here and then wait okay so i think i've, I've kind of screwed up the then go back and say fix typo and then come back here and then see so basically this becomes like your live editor so you have you have got um, you have got your code editor and you can see live so if you if you do it like side by side you can basically uh, you can basically see that so in this case i'm going to show this i'm going to show this and basically what whatever i change you can actually see let me let me say uh, updated with github dev okay this is my title i'm going to say uh, update title of app and save it and then you can actually see oh sorry did i commit no i didn't commit after that you can actually see the change here so it's going to see it, it has come so how efficiently basically without any computer you can do this anywhere uh, wherever you have got a browser you can update your streamlit application that is deployed on streamlit share without downloading the code on your local machine which means you're not you know you're not you don't have to configure your git which means you don't have to borrow a machine if you do not have you can do this on anywhere like if you have got a browser which also means that the, the other most important thing is a lot of people at least uh, from my experience i would see people who want to create an application they're always uh, um, 
they, they don't want to maintain it very well because of uh, because of you know the workflow of downloading a code commit it send it back uh, send a p raise a pr and then merge it and then and then see the reflection so if if i say that streamlit share has made it easier for anybody to deploy streamlit application thanks to streamlit i would say github dev has made it really 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 easy for anybody to maintain the code base so basically like all you need is like if you want to see what has changed you can you can again see that basically like you can you can basically do anything that you want and um, that that is the beauty about it so it's really really awesome solution and um, we are just seeing the potential of what all things that we can do so thanks to the github development team that has implemented github dot um, dev if you have any questions please let me know in the comment section otherwise i hope you can enjoy this amazing period that we are in where uh, we can do almost the entire code development maintenance on our browser and that too also like ultimately you can launch an ml application a machine learning application using streamlit it's an amazing time to be alive um thank you so much for listening to me um see you in the next video